They say that data is the new oil. So what this is about is how to drill into your analytics data and achieve success. This is part of the Ehrman List series, which aims to provide insights and advice on how to accelerate revenues and earnings in the Internet of Things industry. Why start from scratch when so many of the things that have worked and not worked over the 25 years I was with ID Systems can be shared to provide you with a much simpler roadmap to achieve success. So they say data is the new oil. And with more Internet of Things devices out there than at any time in history, now is the time to look at the data being collected from all of those Internet of Things devices and do something with it. So, what is that something and what data needs to be collected? So, it, most of the Internet of Things devices that are out there have a data that's collected that's more focused on real time. Is the door open or closed? Is the forklift being used or not? Is it safe to operate? Is the trailer loaded or unloaded? Where are my assets? How are they being used? That's all real time. And that has really great value in being able to look at dashboards and make decisions in order to provide better customer service for your customers and answer the questions that are being asked about your assets. But at some point, it comes time to take a deep breath and look at the data that's collected and use that data to be able to do three things. And that's what analytics data is about. One is to collect data to create and identify trends that happened in the past, correlate them with other variables that are important to you, such as the economy, years your company did well, maybe years your company didn't do so well, different uh, management approaches, etc. So correlate that data to specific events that may have happened so that you can use the information to predict the future. So if there's going to be a down economy next year, what were the utilization rates of my assets in the down economy? More likely, the economy is going to grow aggressively this year. So how high did your utilization rates grow in other periods of rapid expansion? So using the data that's collected over, for example, two or three recessions, one near Great Depression, and two or three periods of rapid e expansion allow you to be able to look at your asset utilization rates, safety rates, maintenance rates over time and use that information to accurately or much more accurately predict the future. The second thing that you can use your analytics tools to do is be able to determine and quantify the return on investment of any technology that you've deployed. So that's something I'll spend a little time on. And the next thing is to use the data to determine industry benchmarks. So not just how you performed over time, but how you performed against your peers. How does one building perform or one factory compared to the others? Identify best practices, identify your better performing operators, identify your better performing shifts, identify your better performing managers, identify your better performing facilities, and use that data to be able to uh, do a deeper dive on the best practices within those buildings and then share those across your entire enterprise. So quickly, let me talk about the differences between analytics and business intelligence. Business intelligence is about understanding through dashboards and visually how your operation is performing right now. So typically, when you're talking about business intelligence, you'll see beautiful dashboards, beautiful charts, uh, things that you can take action on in real time. That's not analytics. Analytics does have charts and data, but it's way more important to be able to determine the proper variables to change those variables and be able to process data to predict the future. So analytics is much more about identifying the most important variables for your business, being able to determine what any changes to those variables are so that you can predict the performance of the future. A great customer uh, that does that is a company called SAS. They don't do business intelligence or visuals. They focus on crunching numbers based on changing variables, looking at uh, the trends that are 
uh, really hidden inside your data. They call that data mining. So analytics is really uh, where the future can be predicted and you can really improve your business, whereas uh, business intelligence is important, but it's about real time. So what can you see within your data? One is trends over time. Those are macro trends that are usually correlated to how your business is performing by region within your business so that you can see which regions are performing better, which segments of your business are performing better, and be able to, again, identify those areas which are your top performers and being able to figure out why they're top performers and improve the operation throughout the rest of your enterprise. That's a critical item. Look at the data over time. It's also important to create benchmarks between your various customers. Are you servicing certain customers better than others? Are uh, certain customers more cost effective to service, fewer complaints, you're able to deliver on time, whereas other customers don't give you your, let's say, empty containers back in time, they hold your goods, the employees arrive at the site to pick up empty, empty containers or uh, trailers and they spend a ton of extra time there. Uh, that's the kind of thing that you can look at your analytics data and be able to identify. So benchmarks. It's also important, for example, one very large intermodal player that I know that rents out intermodal containers had those intermodal containers out on lease 50% of the time. So that means if they had 20,000 intermodal containers, the net net of the operation was that only 10,000 of those containers was out on lease at any time. Well, they thought that was as good as it can be. They were using IoT, so they were able to find the empty containers. Uh, they were using transportation management software. And the bottom line is, through the use of all of the technology that they had, they were able to achieve a 50% utilization rate. And they thought that was the best you can get because they were using so many different technologies to achieve it. Well, through analytics, what you can do is create that 50% as a benchmark but actually be able to identify where that puts you in the industry. So for example, 50% utilization rate, if your analytics database has utilization rate from many uh, customers who lease out intermodal containers, even if it's only a few of them, that's enough to create, um, you know, just like you can predict the presidential election, talking to 500 people, the same way you can create industry benchmarks. So now what you can do is go back to companies that think they're really, quote unquote, in the 99th percentile in their industry and tell them what percentile they're actually in because you have a wide range of diverse uh, customers but all peers using your system. All that data needs to be anonymous because you can't tell one customer how they're performing compared to a specific competitor but you can tell them where they stand in their industry. And that is very important because in my experience, almost everyone thinks they're in the 99th percentile in their industry. And obviously that can't be true. The best you, on average, you're in the 50th percentile. So what else? In addition to predicting the future based on the past, data from analytics can also help you adjust in real time. So do you have 12 people in the shipping department on the first shift? or do you have eight? Look at those individual people in the shipping department. How, what's their utilization rate? How much time are they working versus what you expect? So maybe certain people are at 99% efficiency while others are at 50% efficiency. Identify those top performers, figure out why they're top performers. Maybe it's because there's not enough work for 12 people and you really only need 10 people. So use KPIs to be able to create industry benchmarks, dive in and look at uh, what the analytics data is telling you on the most granular of levels, and then use that data to basically get all of the best practices throughout your enterprise as efficiently as possible. So one of the biggest problems that people have is that there's a lot of great data in their analytics database, but they don't have time to analyze it or they don't have the experience to identify trends. That's not unusual. In fact, an executive at Ford that I know said that Ford Motor Company has more data than you can imagine, but they only had one PhD from MIT to analyze the data. So the executive I knew who was in the supply chain industry said 
you really couldn't get any time of the analytics expert to try to improve their business. He knew there was gold in the data, but he had no one to mine the gold. Well, that's not unusual. Um, I've talked to executives at Avis, I've talked to executives at Hertz, I've talked to executives at GM, uh, Procter & Gamble, um, even ID Systems, uh, where I came from, and I can tell you that there's a huge business opportunity within analytics to be able to analyze that data, make decisions based upon that data, and truly predict the future. I have a lot of experience with that. I can help share practices. I can help identify trends worth investigating. And I can absolutely accelerate things and move you in the right direction. So if you're going to start a business in IoT, I strongly recommend you consider analytics uh, because it's really an untapped market where the data is being significantly underutilized. And there's a lot of ability to make your business more efficient, safer, and better than your peers move you into the 99th percentile and not just assume you're there already. So click on the link below, follow me on social media, leave a comment with your own experiences or ask any questions. But I am a big believer in analytics and supply chain and I'm happy to help you maximize the value you can get out of those uh, analytic systems. Thank you.